Hey everyone, Eric here from Lapix, back at it again. We got another repair, we got a MacBook. What else do we do, right? We got a MacBook in here, we got a logic board issue, it's not powering on. Let's go ahead and see actually what's going on with it. So we have an aftermarket charger here. It's never a good thing because, um, especially for the ones that do have the MagSafe too, you don't want to be doing that. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. You don't want to be messing with it, especially a third party. You don't want to fry your machine. So uh, USB-C, it won't matter as much, but it's still important. Probably should get one that does at least a good job. So it's not purring on. Uh, I do have the open. I don't see any obvious damage or obvious liquid spills that are going on. So who knows? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. See really what's going on. I know it's uh, getting orange light and there's no power on it. So no fan spin, nothing. So let's go ahead and take a look at it under, under or at least let's remove the board, see there's the, where the damage is, what's going on, and then go from there. Okay, ooh, it's a little bit sticky, but I did remove it. And we see the corrosion on the back here. If you guys can see it, see that gold ring at the top over there? Yep, there. But let's go under the microscope. All right, nice little corrosion. It's about anywhere. Hmm, very dirty. How is this? This is your SMC. Don't want anything around this area. Looks to be pretty good though. We tried. Couldn't get through. Getting close though. A lot of liquid, a lot of corrosion. Probably want to fix up these areas. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to just continue the scan because we want to take um, pretty much mental notes throughout this whole area here. Um, especially if we're going to go through an ultrasonic or something for any type of cleaning. Take mental notes and obviously we're recording it so it's always good to know where the damage is in case there's any other spots. There's a lot of... Um, Damage is, it's just more surface damage than anything else. Nothing looks to be totally corroded there. Um, totally damaged. Maybe the, the pads could get a little bit damaged or some of the trace lines could get blocked. Doesn't look really too bad. It just looks like a lot more surface area. Sometimes this can be because um, maybe it's being you. It's not being used as much. Maybe it turned off very quickly. Maybe some of the corrosion just blocked, obviously, some of the circuitry there and electricity flow. And that's maybe what's going on there. Um, usually you would see it would get a little worse. This probably area is a little bit on, on the worst side here. But we're going to go ahead and just do a cleaning on it. Let's just put some alcohol on it. I think that will actually be a pretty good job, at least for that. Uh, but uh, let's keep looking first, just to make sure. Uh, we see some of these areas, right, still need to be a little bit clean. Some of them, again, are just more surface areas. So let's put some alcohol on it. Just going to use a little bit of a brush. Um, most of the time, we don't like using a brush too much if there's a ton of corrosion, especially if it's really deep in the area, because that can actually knock out a lot of um, the components there, especially if there's anything that's really damaged. Sometimes you want to put flux first, maybe to to um, to mix with some solder there, and then maybe what it'll do is that'll clean it very well and then reattach some of the components, especially if they're a little bit loose, because uh, corrosion can loosen up the solder on a lot of components as well. That's why it's not a great idea of putting it first, especially if there's a lot of damage. But this again looks more surface area here. Um, this one's a little bit, this is probably one of the worst areas. Actually, if we go over, let's pause it for a second. Actually, if we go over to our um, screen capture here, we'll actually see that uh, this is the U3210. Um, it's not too far from the SMC. The SMC is over here, the U5000. That's uh, a system management controller. It does a lot of different things. So we're around this area. This is where you can see a lot of uh, ca the capacitors that got a little bit damaged here. You can see this is C3286, the PB3B3S4 TBTA power. And up here is the U3210. And you can see this is the S4 power N, the TBTA power switch, I set V3. Um, there's lots of different pins that actually do go up here, but we'll go inside just a little bit later because I'll, I'll show that a little bit better. Let's let's try to clean it first and actually see what's going to be happening. Um, and we also see that there's a little bit of damage on the U7701. Um, this is LCD back. This has to do with the LCD backlight, LCD backlight switch, PVV out. So let's go ahead and go back to it real quick and continue. To clean this area up now this one's a little bit uh, more tricky this one uh, we may need to just do ultrasonic or if we need to replace we can do that um, we're going to scratch a little bit here with a tweezer and that's going to help at least free up some of the the lines or 
Just free up some of the solder there, some of the lines. It doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit darkish area. It should be a little bit more shiny because that's really what we're looking for. But I'm sure probably Ultra Song is going to do it, or we can maybe put a little bit of flux and see if we can do do a little bit of better cleaning there. It's not too bad again. It's not terrible. We've seen a lot worse, especially if the pad is damaged. That's the most important thing. But we're going to keep going and looking around here. We're just going to clean some other areas. The board's just very dirty in general. And usually when you have a board this dirty, um, you just want to take mental notes of everything. Just do a little spot cleaning because you don't want to, to put so much gunk and junk that's inside your ultrasonic there too. Um, we always want to do a spot cleaning first. And... Uh, this one, we'll, we'll see. I think just the ultrasonic and just doing a little bit of basic cleaning is actually going to do a really good job with it. It's going to go ahead and do the repair mainly for it because there isn't, again, any severe corrosion, any severe pad damage, or any trace line damage there. Um, if that was the case, obviously we will go, go into a little bit more, but just taking a look at it doesn't look to be too bad. Just a lot of dirt and grime just kind of almost everywhere. It's hard to say really what type of liquid all this is because it's always really strange. Um, you don't know if it's any type of sugar. If Usually if it's the case with sugar, that can damage a little bit further. Um, continuous use can make a big problem, but may, I don't know if this has been dipped or just uh, splash or just over time. Like <laughs> It's a lot of different stuff. It's pretty actually gross. Uh, we even see another area here. It's not too much of a concern because, again, it's just more dirty. But you can see even some of the dirt can actually go on some of the, the trace lines there, and that can actually block and impede um, you know, the current obviously going through it. And that's the whole point of it. That's why the trace line exists is to have it there. So sometimes you just need to break it up. But uh, this is just more, of, looks to be more of like a cleanup job. So we're going to keep going ahead. Just, just do them over scan. But it's really interesting to see how much damage it is. I know it's not a super fun, exciting video really to go by, but it's just an interesting one to see how much liquid can actually go on a board. And in this case, it looks like more of a cleanup job and to see actually what's going on here. Um, so let's, we're going to pause it here. We're going to actually look at this this chip and um, the these were kind of the little uh, the solder here that was that's kind of a little bit impacted it's not absolutely terrible uh, I can get my camera to focus uh. but I'm gonna go ahead and pause it you see it doesn't look absolutely too bad there um, but let's go ahead actually if I pause it for a second here I'm gonna go back to our uh, screen capture and we're gonna look actually to see what those are times I'm gonna go bad if we actually look right so we know that I think the 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 first three were the ones you can see this is the PB3B3S5. This is for the PB3B3S5. <laughs> and this is the PB3B3S4 TBTA power. And you can see the next one is impacted and the last one's ground. So usually you're not going to see a problem on the ground uh, line there because why? The, the ground line is a ground line. It's not like a power line. It's more of just a ground line. So if you ever see a component that's really, really, really far damaged, and you're like, well, why doesn't that one trace get da damaged even though it's s severely corroded and all the other pads are gone? Well, sometimes it could just be a ground line. So, But that's it. Um, let's go ahead with the ultrasonic on it. I think that'll be the best thing. And then if I don't think we need to do a repair because if we go back to it, so if we go back to it, we look, we see it looks to be pretty good, even though it's not as shiny, but it doesn't look to be completely damaged or the pads look to be damaged. But I bet the ultrasonic is going to take care of it. We'll go ahead and try that. If it, if it looks... Uh, if it doesn't, if it gives us a problem, we'll focus on that and go from there. All right, let's try it. Let's see. Better. Green light, fan spin. It's gonna come up. Go to boot menu. Should be working. Processor getting warm. All right. Yeah, right. That was pretty quick, right? That means keyboard working too. Hold option. Everything looks to be pretty good. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing macbook air see how well that corrosion out of that liquid spill see all that that can actually damage it as well but also did actually have to do some of the wi-fi card there's a little bit of damage to the wi-fi card because it was still giving a problem just a little bit wasn't super exciting so didn't really show it but anyways guys i hope you guys are watching this video if you did please leave a like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more t content we've got lots of cool m1 macbook repairs go ahead check them out we do liquid spill repairs we do stuff uh, a little bit more in depth and more detail we do lots of we have lots of software talks you guys are interested we do Mac OS, we do Windows stuff, we have lots of cool stuff on the channel. Go ahead, check it out. We also do data recoveries as well. So if you're interested in that, please go ahead, see what's going on. Go always make lots of videos too. Just stay tuned and uh, see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.